One of the most common questions that I see in the comments section or just in general in Twitch chat is what camera do I use and what camera in general should you use in MLB The Show? A lot of setting your own camera is personal preference, but a lot of people are looking for the best option that suits them the best. So I thought what we would do today is go through all the in-game camera settings for pitching, hitting, and fielding, and suggest different options for you guys when you're trying to come up with the hitting camera and you want to choose for yourself. At the end of the day, this is all personal preference, but I'll try to go into the pros and cons of many of the popular cameras that people use so you have different options you want to try. I recommend setting one or two of these, giving them a go until something really feels the most comfortable for you. Each camera has a different height, zoom, and a lot of things that go into it, so you got to find what works the best for you. And it's just going to hopefully be a nice little guide for you guys with coming up with your own cameras. Let's get into it. What is up, YouTube? We're back with another video today. Before we get into it, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you end up learning something new and this video is helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you have not hit that sub button down below, make sure you do. Sometimes people forget to hit that sub button. We do provide a lot of tips on the channel, so make sure to check around, see if there are any other tips that help you. Also, in case you are brand new and don't know that I stream, I stream on Twitch. If you want to watch me play the game, ask any questions there, come to my Twitch channel down below, and it's a great place to find me outside of YouTube videos here. Let's get into our hitting cameras, and let's go into the general tips on how we can set our own cameras. All right, so I'm going into custom practice just to kind of show you guys. I'm going to go into what kind of cameras you should use for hitting or pitching, and these are kind of two different parts of the game. When you're in online play, you can only use certain cameras so, for example, you can't use those pitching cameras from behind a pitcher as a hitter in Diamond Dynasty. But we're going to kind of go through each one of them and break down why each camera is good or bad, why I like a camera over another one. Just give you guys a little bit of detail in choosing your own hitting camera. So let's talk about hitting. We'll go to the, the basic, most common hitting camera, Strike Zone. And I've used Strike Zone before. I really don't think it's bad for hitting. Just in general, as you see, the camera is a little bit higher. It's looking down. So for me, I have a tougher time reading the lower part of the zone. If you're playing the game and you're someone who chases pitches out of the zone below the zone and you use Strike Zone 1, you may want to consider trying another camera. I feel like the Strike Zone 1, this lower part of the zone is so low. I have a difficult time reading, say, breaking balls that are below the zone in this scenario facing Chapman here. I feel like I would have a tough time reading his splitter low below the zone. The benefits of Strike Zone 1, though, is that it is more zoomed in, so you can read those pitches near the corners of the zone a little better. At least in my knowledge. See, I couldn't even read that that fastball was not a strike. I have a really tough time reading this camera from this height that it is. But obviously, you know, if you're going through and dealing with issues like that, you may want to consider trying another. But if you have a good gauge of these pitches at the knees, then I don't see any reason why you shouldn't stick with Strike Zone 1. Also, it seems like the, the camera height allows you to really tell what is high. So I feel like I would be less deceived by those high fastballs out of the zone with this camera. And obviously, since it is more zoomed in, I have a good gauge of what is a ball and a strike in comparison to other cameras, but Strike Zone 1 is actually not what I use. When I'm hitting, I use Strike Zone 2. And the reason I like Strike Zone 2, it's a little bit more zoomed out. So, you know, if you're someone who plays far from your monitor, if you have a small monitor, and you feel you need that close zoom, maybe Strike Zone 2 won't be for you. But for me, I enjoy it because I read those lower pitches easier. And also, I feel like this one is more so in line with the pitcher. Like the, the middle of the plate is right in line with the pitcher. So I could kind of tell what is going to be high above the zone and low below the zone a little bit easier, I feel like. The downside to it is that it is a little bit more zoomed out. So for some people that are farther away from their monitors and they are not sitting up close to it, this may be an issue if you're, say, playing on a TV because you may not be able to tell which pitches are balls and strikes as easily with the, the further zoom from the zone. But I enjoy Strike Zone 2. This is what I use. I feel like it, it works the best. I've been sticking with it for years now. Even though a lot of people use Strike Zone 1, I've always been someone who likes Strike Zone 2. Strike Zone 3, taking a look at this, um, it seems like the camera is almost at like a Strike Zone 1 type angle, but it's way more zoomed out. It, even at this point with my monitor, with me being close to it, 
I feel like this is too far for me to use, at least for hitting. Um, you do get the benefit of looking at the batter. You get the full view of the batter's stance, and it's a nice view from a spectator perspective, but as you see, the PCI feels very small, and um, I don't know how much I would actually recommend using a camera like Strike Zone 3, at least in some online competitive play. Another popular camera, Strike Zone High. This honestly looks a little bit like Strike Zone 2 in terms of the uh, the angle of the camera. It is a little bit more zoomed out than Strike Zone 1, but it is, uh, I think, at least a little bit more zoomed in than Strike Zone 2. Um, it seems like a good mix between Strike Zone 1 and 2, though, and probably a, a solid one to try if you don't like Strike Zone 2. But yeah, keep in mind, it's this is almost like it's just a different angle of the camera to the picture. It has just about the same zoom as Strike Zone 2. Kind of they're the same type of thing. If you if you don't like Strike Zone 1, you want to mix up with something different, I would try that. Strike Zone Offset, I know some people enjoy. And it looks like this camera just looks like Strike Zone, but they they slightly move the zone to be a little offset. And you see it's not perfectly in line with the picture. I personally don't like it. I feel like it makes reading pitches more difficult just because of the the angle it is at it could just be a me thing but i feel like just it not being in center is uh really tough for me to read what's a ball on the strike i like having that perfectly symmetrical angle in the center but you know this may be a camera that some of you guys like other than that um a lot of the cameras like offset offset zoom these cameras are way more zoomed out and for a diamond dynasty purpose i feel like they are far too zoomed out for me to even recommend for you guys because it'd be very difficult to read the strike zone. Now let's go into pitching and the cameras I would use for pitching. So with pitching, this is kind of a more so mental side of things. You obviously don't need a perfect camera for pitching because you don't need to look at the strike zone and such in the same manner as you would hitting. But I kind of want to break down different cameras and why I know different people use certain types of cameras. So you guys can choose a camera that will likely benefit you the most. And you may think, why does a pitching camera even matter? A lot of it is the mental and locating pitches and timing up your, say, pinpoint pitching motion. And there's a reason that a lot of people use certain cameras. For me, I've been using Zoom and I don't think that this is bad. I'm going to start to change it soon. Hey, I like pitching from the hitter's side of the plate. I like to think in the mindset of a hitter when I'm pitching so I like to you know think about like oh if I'm a hitter what pitch would be difficult to hit right here and it kind of helps with me setting my my pitch sequencing and setting different things with uh, pitching obviously though I like to have the more zoomed out view for the sake of uh, spectator view but I think I'm going to change this especially in this video because I feel like the camera is just so zoomed out it's tough to aim precisely in the zone. And we'll talk about why it's beneficial to potentially use a camera like Strike Zone, Strike Zone 2, one of these more zoomed in cameras for pitching. The reason that there is a benefit in using such a zoom camera is because you gotta remember your opponent is likely using Strike Zone 1, Strike Zone 2, that more zoomed in camera. So if you're zoomed out from the plate, a pitch that you would aim at right here, which just looks a little bit outside the zone, from a hitter's perspective, is actually significantly more out of the zone. So when you're more zoomed in, I feel like you could aim more precisely. You could just miss outside the zone and really throw smart pitches right outside the corners, which I think is a big part of playing against good players, that you want to aim just a little bit outside of the zone and really just expand that border zone as little as possible. And when you're zoomed out, you, I find myself aiming more so way outside it's tough to the pitch deceptively against good hitters because you're not aiming close enough to the zone or at least more precise parts of the zone. And finally, for pitching, you could also set the pitcher's view. I think the benefit of having a view from this pitcher's side is that you could time up their motions easier. You're more zoomed in. So if you're someone who uses, say, meter, analog, or pinpoint, having the timing of the pitcher's motion and then having that more zoomed in could be a benefit for you. So if you're someone who needs to time up that motion and you're struggling with that, this could be a, a good thing to try. But also keep in mind with your, your pitching. Again, it's more zoomed out from the plate. 
So what looks like just a little bit outside on this camera may look way more outside on the other hidden cameras. And finally, our fielding cameras. One thing I want to talk about with our fielding cameras, these are mostly just preferential. I use dynamic for hitting. It's if you really want the most beneficial camera for your in-play defense, I would suggest medium or high. Um, they're more zoomed out. They're higher above the field. So when you are base running or fielding, you could tell where the ball is easier, allows you to track the ball. If you use for in-play defense, something like retro or broadcast, I feel like the camera angles are so weird. It's weird to track the ball and it's very difficult to say send runners and read where the ball is landing. So I would suggest switching that to something like medium or high or whatever you find the most comfortable for you. And finally, I want to point this out with cameras. They are just a preferential thing. Um, you got to test and see what works the best for you. Find what works for you in custom practice, rank seeds, whatever mode you play. Do whatever you need to do to practice and feel comfortable with your cameras. Everyone will likely have some sort of different preferences, just like your PCIs and other things. You got to find what works the best for you and what's the most comfortable. Hopefully this video on cameras helped you guys. Hopefully this will give you a good idea on how you could choose a camera that works the best for you, or at least make a change in things that you are doing right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like if you learned something new or this helped you. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you all again on the next video. This is.